Hey guys, it's Irish again. In the last video, I showed you how to do a basic config, uh, uh, modding slash theming of this top bar here. So in this video, on the last uh, one of the last ones I'm going to do for configuring i3 or uh, configuring awesome is I'm going to show you how to add some of the sub menus, and then I'm also going to add some widgets. Now the widgets, uh, in my belief, are what makes the Awesome Window Manager uh, unique uh, among window managers, because you can config, uh, you can write your own widgets, and then implement them into your config file, and I feel that's what makes uh, Awesome Window Manager pop, because I have seen some uh, uh, really cool widgets that just could rival Conkey uh, to to that so we'll get started here so if we open up our gedit and then we are going to go open up our awesome rc.lua file so one thing you need to do before we uh, before we add any of the widgets is um, you want to add vicious to us. So now I I usually put it right before the Zenburn thing. So if we go down here and we do vicious V I C I O U S and then space equals and then required and then in parentheses you're gonna do in uh quotes vicious. So now uh, if we close this off, it will automatically read that Vicious is required. So anytime we do any of the widgets, uh, it will look for this. So let's see. Uh, so yeah, this is how I have it. So Vicious require. Okay, it looks like I need to put a space. No space here. So it's right up right next to it. So I like to put my uh, battery widget first. So we're just going to do double dash and say battery widget. And then underneath, uh, we are going to write bat underscore widget. And then space equals and then in that you want to put we box dot widget dot text box and then close these off so the next line after that you want to put it all together so it's going to be vicious dot register and then you want to put a uh, parenthesis in and then bat underscore widget comma vicious dot widget dot bat comma and then in parentheses is where you want to put your battery and also the um, if you want to use a a uh, an icon you would put it here so we'll just leave that out and then it's going to be dollar sign one dollar sign two space close that out and then th 32 would be uh, when it uh, is low and stuff like that comma and then under these quotes you're going to do bat one or whatever your battery is called and then you're going to close that out so we are going to save this and we're going to restart here so so as you can see that uh, I do not uh, there's some errors so let me fix that I'll be right back okay so what I did was fixed the vicious and I just put it up here up on top and now if I come down to where I have it, uh, it seemed like uh, there was something that I mistyped inside the parentheses here. So 
one more thing that we need to do before we actually get to see it up on top here is what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down until we see the um, widgets that are aligned to the right. So what we're going to do is put this right before the my text clock and then we're just going to scroll up actually to the right so we're just going to type right underscore layout colon add and then bat underscore widget so now if we save this and restart this one more time you should see right up here the battery symbol plus the 100 so that's how you do the battery um, I'm going to have this on my I'll put this in my github uh, in the description below so if you just don't feel like it uh, then we'll just uh, send you just copy and paste uh, the next thing I like to have is a Pac-Man uh, widget that tells me about uh, how many I have. So I don't remember how much uh, I got this from a friend, uh, Morningstar. Um, so I'm just actually going to take it from his. So if we go up here uh, and we just, it's pretty much the same thing. You just do pack widget here and then you just want to copy all of this down to here and then you're just going to copy move this to our right underneath our battery widget here and then just paste one second so we're going to copy this whole thing here. And then paste. So this Pac-Man widget. So again, the same thing we want to do uh, that we did before is put it under wherever you want it. Uh, I'm going to put it right before my battery widget here. So go down one sure that these are right so you go right layout then add and then pack uh, let's see what it's called here pack widget and then we're going to save this and then restart this one more time So as you can see here, I have three. Uh, I have three uh, updates right now, and then you can see it's sudo pam and then lib ssh. Uh, to get this going, you would also have to uh, write a cron job to it. Now the cron job is located. So if you just type in cron tab space dash e you'll notice that uh, you have a uh, a cron tab here so this says bin slash check updates and then that's for five seconds so every five seconds that should update and tell me if I do have any uh, updates at all so we're just gonna close this out and then what we're gonna do the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to create our submenu. Now the submenu you can put anything that you can think of in here. So you're just going to go right here to the My Awesome and then right here you're going to just create whatever you want. So we're going to type um, we'll say web stuff and then it's going to have a bracket 
then go under and then a bracket so I just like to line this up so what you're gonna do is just say in quotes uh, Firefox close quote and then just type in Firefox on close that out so I'm actually going to copy just to save time on this video I'm going to save time so I'm just gonna go up here as you can see it just says web stuff and then browser Firefox and then terminal anytime you want to do anything with the terminal uh, you just say terminal dot dot and then dash E and then whatever command you want so I'm just going to copy and paste this really fast copy so we're going to get rid of this and then and then paste that uh, one thing I want to add is stuff for I'm going to add uh, WeChat so we're just gonna go over here that and then say WeChat close parenthesis space comma space terminal dot dot and then inside parenthesis you're gonna do a dash space dash E and say WeChat and then close that space bracket and then what you're gonna do is just close it off with a comma and then we're going to save this one last time and then the one thing that we need to change here is what you want to add here so right now if we if I refresh this all it would show is the my awesome view so again we're just saving time I'm gonna go in here and just copy paste this copy and then paste so now let's save this one more time now if we refresh this so you'll notice that nothing aired out so if we go to an open workspace right click you'll see web so now I can do take a screenshot video dev so if I wanted to click on WeChat I do that and WeChat opens up so that is all I have for this video guys uh, I will work more on this so if you do have multi monitors I can show you guys how to set that up with uh, having different programs go to different tag lists or different workstations and stuff like that on a certain monitor so I'll work on that more and uh, I will catch you guys next video.